What's going on everybody? My name is Phantomatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to build Wuthering Waves' newest 5 star resonator, Jinsi. She's a main DPS unit that uses a spectral element and besides her amazing visuals, she's so powerful that she shot up to the top of everyone's tier list in one day. Anyway, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get to building. On this festive day, I will stand no disruptions. Jinsi uses the Broadblade weapon type, so her best in slot weapon is going to be her 5 star signature banner weapon, Ages of Harvest. With attack and crit rate as its main stats, it grants a 12% attribute damage bonus and gives the equipper Ages marking, which grants a 12 second resonant skill damage bonus. And if you use your skill, you will be granted a 12 second 24% resonant skill damage bonus. It really makes sense why this is her best weapon since it greatly increases her resonance skills damage and also gives her a pretty decent attack and crit damage buff. Her second best is going to be Xi'an's 5 star signature weapon, Verdant Summit. With attack and crit damage as its main stats, it's going to give a 14 second 12% damage bonus to all resonance attributes that can be stacked twice for a total of 24%. It makes sense why this weapon is second since it's giving her an attack and crit damage increase. Not not only that, but it's going to increase her attributes as well to maximize on damage. The 5 star weapon Lustrous Razor is going to be her third best option. With attack as both of its main stats, it's going to give a 12 second 12.8% energy regen increase and gives a 7% resonance liberation damage increase when you use her skill, which can be stacked 3 times for a total of 38.4%. As a free to play option, this is honestly surprisingly really good because it's going to give her not only an attack boost but energy regen on top of that and with the pretty decent increase to her resonance liberation damage you can really see why this took the number three spot as for the four stars broadblade number 41 is her best option with attack and energy regen as its main stats it's going to increase your attack by 12 percent if your hp is above 80 percent and will restore your hp by five percent when your hp is below 40 percent when you deal basic attack or heavy attack damage note that the healing effect can only be triggered once every 8 seconds. Helios Cleaver is her second best 4 star option. With attack as both of its main stats, it's going to increase your attack by 3% every 2 seconds within 12 seconds after using your skill, which will be 18%, and can be stacked 4 times for a total of 72%. Note that when the stacks reaches 4, the number of stacks will reset within 6 seconds. Autumn Trace is going to be her last 4 star option. With attack and crit rate as its main stats, it's going to give you a 7 second 4% attack increase when dealing basic attack damage or heavy attack damage, which can be stacked up to 5 times for a total of 20%. Note that this effect can only be triggered once every 1 second. As for the 3 star options, it's going to be Broadblade of Night and Guardian Broadblade. On this festive day, I will stand no disruptions. Now, if you're wondering what are Jensi's best echo sets, then you're going to want to use the 5 set Celestial Light, which will increase her spectral damage by 10% with the 2 set, and with the 5 set, it will give you a 15 second 30% spectral damage increase when you use your intro skill. However, since Jensi's a main DPS, you can use the 2 set Celestial Light and 2 set Lingering Tunes, which will give us a 10% spectral damage increase and a 10% increase to our attack. There's also the 2 set Celestial Light and 2 set Moonlit Clouds, which will give you a 10% spectral damage increase and a 10% increase to your energy regen. We also have the 2 set lingering tunes and 2 set moonlit clouds which will give you a 10% attack increase and a 10% increase to your energy regen. And lastly there's the 5 set lingering tunes which will increase her attack by 10% with the 2 set and will increase her attack by 5% every 1.5 seconds she's on the field which can be stacked 4 times for a total of 20% and increases her outro skill damage by 60% with the 5 set. As for her best echoes to equip onto her, for the four costs, these are going to be Zhue, Morning Ix, and Mech Abomination. Zhue belongs to the Celestial Light set and will give Jinxi a 16% resonant skill damage bonus, and when her skill hits a target, it'll inflict 11.5% of spectral damage once per second for 15 seconds. It's also considered resonant skill damage. Morning Ix belongs to the Celestial Light set and will increase Jinxi's spectral damage 
and resonance liberation damage by 12% for 15 seconds. Lastly, Mecha Abomination belongs to the Lingering Tune set and will increase Zhenxi's attack by 12% for 15 seconds. As for the main stats on your Echoes, the 4 costs are going to want crit rate and crit damage. The 2 3 costs are going to have either both spectral or spectral attack, and the 2 1 costs are going to have attack. As for their substats, you're going to want energy regen first, crit rate or crit damage second, resonance skill damage bonus third, attack percent fourth, and lastly flat attack. On this festive day, I will stand no disruptions. If you're confused as to which Resonator pairs well with Jinsi, then I'll ease your worries. Sub-DPS characters like Yinlin, Mortefi, Sanhua, and Yanwu all pair really well with her. Yinlin can provide off-field damage with her punishment marks and can provide Resonance Liberation damage deepen with her outro skill. Sanhua can give Jinsi basic attack damage deepen with her outro skill. Mortefi can perform follow-up attacks with his ultimate and can give Jinsi a heavy attack damage deepen with his outro skill. And Yanwu's pillars can provide off-field damage thanks to his resonance skill. As for which supporter to use with Jinsi, everyone and their grandma should by now have Arena, so go ahead and equip her onto the team. As for what she does, she can revive fallen team members every 10 minutes, provide crazy heals, and increase Jinsi's attack with her outro skill. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you all found this build guide to be very useful. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next Wuthering Ways video, signing off.